I'm Oregon Rimmer and my undergraduate dissertation at Kent Sociology made a difference. Hi, I'm Ethan Cleverly and my undergraduate dissertation at Kent Sociology made a difference. Hi, I'm Georgia and my undergrad dissertation at the University of Kent made a difference. Hey, I'm Shania and my dissertation at Kent Sociology made a difference. I'm Maisie, my undergraduate dissertation at Kent Sociology made a difference. So my project was about colorism and self-image and how it affects black women in the UK, specifically looking at um, the ages 20 to 25, so young black women. Colorism is an issue that affects many people of different communities, not just the black community. Um, but being black myself, I wanted to spread light on an issue that is um, affecting most of us in this community. And it's often not really talked about. Only in recent years it's been spoken about. So I wanted to like shed a light to that. Oh, Trina was amazing. She was so, so supportive, like, through the whole, pro whole process from, like, because I started researching my stuff, I think, second, the summer second year, I started, like, looking into colorism, a few things into that, um, and Trina was really supportive, like, sending me articles and things to read. Hi, my name's Trian Fitton. Um, I'm the school's student success lecturer. I also teach sociology and cultural studies at stage one, and I was the supervisor of Shania Foster's dissertation. Shania's project was quite a challenging one, um, as she wanted to explore colorism as a facet of how racism is experienced. And she researched this using semi-structured interviews with black women between the ages of 20 and 25. She also used a method called photo elicitation to prompt her participants to reflect on how different skin colours related to their perceptions of what was attractive and what wasn't. The use of photo elicitation, literally showing participants different images of celebrities with lighter or darker skin and asking them to reflect upon uh, the impacts that that has on the participants was a real strength to her project. Um, it kept the focus of the participants on the skin colour as opposed to broader definitions or experiences of racism and it allowed discussions to develop around how society perceives that skin colour rather than their, just a series of individualised accounts of, of those experiences. What I found, which was a bit surprising actually, but I'm like happy for, is a lot of the black women didn't feel as much um, negative connotations with their self-image. And I originally thought maybe it would have a high effect because of how colorist this world is and horrible attitudes people have. They actually show different, which was like really amazing really to know that black women aren't as effect, they aren't like, um, they're not letting the horrible attitudes of the world affect how they see themselves. And I think that's a beautiful thing. I think the younger generation now is like noticing there's biases in the world with colorism and they notice that they may have that themselves. So uh, that unconscious bias. So I think they're actively doing the work to stop themselves from like thinking that way or having certain views. Um, I definitely see that with the younger generation. I think maybe with the older generation, they kind of saw it as, oh, it just is what it is. Like, that's just how it is, not really noticing or critically thinking about why they're thinking that way, but the younger people are making that change. Um, I think number one, it shows that colorism exists. Cause I think when I was younger, I always noticed like the differences and privileges um, lighter skinned people would face and darker skinned people within like um, people of color communities. But I never had a term for it. So like do, this research kind of shows that yes, like it exists, it's not all in your head. You must gaslight yourself in that sense. And then also, I think it shows that colorism isn't, well, obviously it's a horrible negative thing, but people can react to it differently. And then we can, they can react to it by like showing a greater sense of like pride within themselves and like self-confidence. It doesn't always conflate with like negative um, opinions on yourself. Um, I really enjoyed working with Shania on this project and supervising her. She was very hardworking, very diligent, but she was also very responsive to um, my feedback. And what resulted, I felt, was a very confidently researched and written dissertation. I generally loved every part of it, like researching it, writing it, speaking to my participants. It was so, so fun. Like want to continue as well. I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet, but like some way.